We begin with breaking news in Riverside County, where a sheriff's deputy was shot and killed. The shooting led to a high-speed pursuit with a suspect, which came to an end on the 15 freeway in Norco. Gil Levis is overhead in Sky 5. Gil. Sharon Pedro, you're looking at that per ter termination point, I should say, of that pursuit that ended a short time ago. Let me zoom in and show you that. Yeah, we're having some uh, technical difficulty right now with Gil. Uh, Gil. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that, Pedro and Sherry. You're looking at the termination point. That black pickup truck was the pursuit vehicle that uh, was involved in that deputy-involved shooting out of uh, Riverside County. Now, uh, the pursuit terminated here on the southbound 15 at the 5th uh, Street overpass here. You can see the uh, multiple agencies were involved in this pursuit along with that sheriff's SWAT team. Uh, as I come out to a wide shot, the freeway is completely shut down as they investigate this, that suspect in custody, although we don't know the condition of that suspect at this point. We did see a couple of bullet holes in the windshield of that vehicle a short time ago, but the freeway here shut down on the southbound side of the 15. Northbound side is open, but there's a lot of looky-loo traffic coming away from the 91 freeway, but that 15 southbound is completely shut down all the way back, backing up all the way to the 10 freeway at this point. They're taking cars off the freeway, but again, this pursuit ending here off the, underneath the 5th Street Bridge. And uh, let's go to some video of the pursuit. Uh, during that pursuit, uh, some ground footage that was shot of that pursuit. Now, the, uh, there was a statewide broadcast for the uh, vehicle in question, a black Ford F-150. They had the license plate of the vehicle, and they located that vehicle on the 60 freeway westbound. The, the pursuit continued on the 60 to the 15 freeway, it came south on the 15 freeway, and that's when it terminated here underneath this bridge. So at this point, we understand the suspect is in custody, and uh, the investigation will continue here for quite some time. This freeway will likely be shut down for quite a few hours as they investigate this crime scene. And uh, at this point, you're going to want to avoid the 15 freeway as much as possible. Try to divert around, the, take the 91 freeway or the 60 to get around this incident. That's the latest overhead up in Sky 5. I'll send it back to you in the studio. We'll continue to check in with you throughout the evening. Thank you, Gil. As Gil mentioned, this all began in a neighborhood in Europa Valley where we're hearing it was a traffic stop that turned deadly. Yeah, KTLA Shelby Nelson continues our team coverage live at the scene in Harupa Valley. Shelby. Yeah, Sheriff Pedro, it has been complete and utter chaos from the moment we got word that a deputy had been shot earlier this afternoon. We came out here to Harupa Valley right when we arrived. We saw just a line, single file line of uh, patrol vehicles getting onto the 60 freeway westbound in pursuit of that suspect. It was all happening so fast. We saw them get onto the 60 westbound, come back on the east and then to the west again and onto the 15. So complete chaos so far. But before we get to more of that information, I want to show you exactly where we are. This is the scene where it all started. You can see how many patrol vehicles are out here. Investigators will likely be out here through the night. And this is on uh, Golden West Avenue in this Harupa Valley neighborhood. Now let's take a look at some of the video we have from the scene earlier this afternoon. Again, a very heavy police presence. The LA Times is reporting that this started as a traffic stop in Harupa Valley with the shooting happening sometime before 245 this afternoon noon on Golden West Avenue near Condor Drive. Now, according to a local newspaper, the Sheriff Chad Bianco confirmed to them that the deputy has died from their wounds. It's too early to know who that deputy was, but you really feel for the family. It's a very somber environment out here right now. Now, after that shooting happened, dozens of law enforcement vehicles pursued a dark colored pickup truck on these IE freeways. We saw again about 20 to 30 patrol vehicles and all the while other vehicles were around. Keep in mind, it's around the time people are heading home, so there was quite a bit of traffic. Now, the suspect was chased onto the 15 freeway southbound and coming to an end near an underpass in Norco. We do know that the suspect was taken into custody. Again, we do not know their condition at this hour. You know, traffic is being diverted off of Lemonite Avenue. Now, earlier we did speak with some folks out here, neighbors who are just stunned that this happened so close to home. I heard the sirens about 10, 15 minutes after I got home around 1.30, 2 o'clock. And then one of my kids called me and said somebody got shot. And that's when I saw the commotion. I see uh, more cops here, helicopters, uh, TV people, and people just talking around, talking about what happened. I know that a sheriff's deputy was shot and right. possibly killed. Right. I mean, what goes through your mind? They're his family and his cop family too. You know, not going home so close to the holidays, that's, that's terrible. 
And again, what you're seeing out here is the scene where this all began in the first place this afternoon. Lots of these patrol vehicles and investigators out here. I'm told they're likely going to be out here throughout the night as this investigation is ongoing. Now, the Riverside County Sheriff's Department is scheduled to have a press conference sometime soon. They haven't released the time of that yet, but likely will happen within the coming hours, and they will be releasing some of the new information that we know about this. Again, we're hearing that this started as a traffic stop and ended in a deputy being shot and reportedly killed. We will have new information coming up later on at 6, but for now, live here in Riverside, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.